To start driller method first circulation, increase the pump speed in stages, from 0 to 5, and to 10 and so on, adjust the choke opening accordingly, to maintain casing pressure constant. In this example, we see the pump speed is increased from 0 to 30 SPM, and the choke is also opened from 0% to 42%, while maintaining casing pressure constant. After reaching 30 SPM, now the pump must run at constant speed at 30 SPM. We always have old mud inside the drill pipe. So the drill pipe pressure is also constant, at ICP, or initial circulating pressure. We can apply small overbalance pressure above ICP to prevent secondary influx if necessary. When the influx moving up in the annulus, casing pressure and pit gain will increase due to gas expansion. But as long as we maintain drill pipe pressure constant, then the bottom hole pressure will be constant. When the gas influx reaching surface, the choke opening must be decreased. In this example, from 42% to 31%. Because the gas has lower viscosity and lower density compared to mud. If choke is not adjusted, bottom hole pressure decreases. Again, as long as we maintain drill pipe pressure constant, then bottom hole pressure will be constant. When all influx has been circulated out, the mud will come back reaching the choke. We have to reopen the choke to 42%. Remember now the mud is coming back at choke. And mud has higher viscosity and higher density than the gas. If the choke is not reopened, we may break the shoe. So reopen the choke and maintain drill pipe pressure constant. After reaching bid to surface strokes, slow down the pump in stages and close the choke gradually. Maintain casing pressure constant. And after pump stopped and choke completely closed, check pressures. Both of casing and drill pipe pressures must be the same. Since now we only have mud inside the drill pipe and inside the annulus. If casing pressure is still higher than drill pipe pressure, then we still have influx in the annulus.